are you doing? I'm playing uh, Baldur's Gate while the boys are out. <laughs> it's yeah. really fun. We just went to the movie theater. Ooh, what'd you see? This German film. Uh, it's a re-release of it. Uh, Run, Lola, Run. Oh, I, I haven't seen it, but I remember seeing it. Yeah, yeah. You haven't seen it, but you remember seeing it? What? I mean, I, I haven't seen the movie, but I remember the advertisement for it. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, the, it uh, was released in, like, 1998, but the theaters were doing a, a uh, re-showing of it. So Nice. It, it was really cool. I can see why it got so popular. What's it, it about? Oh, my gosh. First of all, they they didn't tell me anything, so I was going in blind. It is a hell of a movie to watch blind, because it starts up and there's like these this like weird jungle clock, and then suddenly like animation of this this girl running, and there's all this wacky stuff, and and like people like a camera going through a big crowd of people, and quotes from from authors with mug shots, and and you're, and then there's like a a soccer reference. So I was trying to figure out what kind of movie this was, and I had no idea. I was like, okay, there's a clock. Uh, it's okay, there's this. And I'm like, okay, it's a crime thing? Oh, no, no, it's about soccer? It's about soccer? Okay. No, no? So, for like, the first couple minutes, I had no idea what I was watching. But it's, uh, basically uh, about this girl and her boyfriend, you know, did something for some crime guy and they were you know they had to give him the money that they were picking right. up for him and the boyfriend uh loses it and they need to get a hundred thousand um uh well it's not dollars it's german money but a hundred thousand right. deutschmarks do, yes deutschmarks uh in 20 minutes it, because in 20 minutes? In 20 minutes. And she has to... They, wait, wait, would they have to have it or what will happen? Or the, the guy will kill him. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So the entire movie is is basically them trying to get $100,000 in 20 minutes. So the whole clock motif makes sense because you're constantly like, like what time is it? What's this? And, and it's her running around trying to do that. So you're like, okay, I, that's what this movie's about. And then... At a certain point, it you, like it goes badly, and then it resets to the beginning of the twenty minutes. Not like they almost like a time loop, but they don't know they're in a time loop. It just keeps she, she starts again, and the same thing happens, but it's slightly different, just off. Like when she's running, she she ran just a little differently, and so she bumps into people slightly differently, and it. It's kind of that principle, you know, when the butterfly effect, the butterfly yeah. effect but yeah. you know, when you're in traffic and whether you make the light or not make the light uh, affects your entire drive, you know, that kind right, of thing. Right. It's like that concept, but on steroids. It, <laughs> it was very, very cool. Uh, and there's all these other su small subplots that are like interwoven with each other. It's really cool. It was a really cool uh, film. I love time, time stuff. Yeah, it's it's a it's a cool time loop story. Like it's, a Groundhog Day time loop kind of thing. A little bit. The same way I love Madeline and Eddie's movie. You know, Blood Punch. That time, time loop thing. I think is so cool. Yes, though unlike Blood Punch and Groundhog Day, the people in the loop aren't really aware of it. Like they're not. It's not. It, it reminds me more of, like, the Next Generation uh, episode that, that, you remember that Next Generation episode, Cause and Effect, the time loop one, where they, they, they don't know they're in a loop, but, right, right. but their subconscious does a little bit, so slight things change. It's kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cool. What did you like um, most about it? Just the the how they they weave those stories together so there's this this thief that's trying to sell her a a bike she refuses right 
But right. when the loop starts happening, you're like, oh, eventually she's going to buy the buy the bike and and then, and then she'll be slightly faster that that'll be good and so it, it it almost like sets you up to think that but oh no she never gets the bike her boyfriend which is a completely different part of the story is is involved with the bike but he never gets the bike either the homeless man who is the one who has the original money ends up getting the bike which is something you would never expect <laughs> No, you wouldn't, actually. No, so I love the way it, it was very creative with the way the the loops happened. And there's, and there's, like, this car crash that she keeps accidentally causing. And then one time she doesn't cause a crash. And then that you find out that's the meeting her father was going to go to. So it interrupts this conversation that he's been having every loop. And that, and so when that happens, it changes completely changes how that turns out. Wow. Well, the the way they do the ripple effects is very creative and um, fun, really fun. The and it has a very very quirky editing style. Like it, it's not. I mean, it, it was a bit, a lot of shaky cam. I actually got a little motion sick at some yeah, point. Yeah. Um, but besides that, I the the way it's shot is just so. It's just, it's very fun. It, I, I, I don't know if it's more of a German style, but it's very different. Like you can tell, it's not Hollywood. Wow, I'm gonna have to watch it. I remember seeing it um, on one of the streaming services. But I, I just never clicked you on it. You should watch so. it. it. It's really cool. It's really cool. Well, I'm glad you had a good time, sweetheart. I, I hope you have fun with Baldur's Gate. I will. <laughs>